Hi, this is Jason Lewis, Midday's Technophile. Today we'll be talking about the Flex Nest Flex Bike. It should surprise no one by now that someone has gone ahead and put a Bluetooth controller in an exercise bike. The purpose of this is to connect a tablet or phone to the bike. This in turn is used to create an immersive experience that the user would either have to go outdoors or to an exercise studio for. Both of which are not great options right now. The box that this bike comes in is massive. It weighs in at around 35 kilos. Just pushing it up a flight of stairs is a big workout. So whenever it is delivered, make sure you get it placed around the spot you plan to use it. In the box, you get a bunch of documentation, some tools, the main unit of the flex bike, a seat, a handle, two pedals, and a tablet stand. The flex bike has a very useful video on YouTube that makes assembling very easy. Once assembled, there is another video that tells you how to accurately adjust your bike to fit your body. I followed all the instructions and the result was a bike that was perfect for my height. Once that was done, I activated the Bluetooth on my bike by pulling out the strip under the battery and it was ready to use. The flex bike is built like a tank. It is super sturdy and has metal all over. The bike pedals are well designed and built for shoes. That said, don't use this barefoot or you'll end up injuring yourself. The bike has everything in reach including the tablet holder, the resistance knob and the water bottle holder. The flex bike also looks good. I like the all black design with orange accents. After the bike is set up, the next step is to get the Flex Nest app. You have to download it from the iOS store or the Google Play store and register. While the registration process is overall smooth, the app did not let me enter my weight and instead wanted me to get the Flex Scale device. I understand the Flex Nest would like to push their own products, but not letting me enter my weight on a health device is a little ridiculous. I hope they fix this and not force feed their patrons another device to track weight. Connecting with your bike was easy. You have to ride the bike and it shows up on the app. You need to then select it, which is not mentioned anywhere. Plus there's no indication that it needs to be selected, which got me pedaling longer than I needed to. Once selected, the bike connects to your phone or tablet. I would recommend using a tablet though, as it is more immersive when you do. On the right selection of the app, there are various options. You can either go for a quick ride where there are no goals and the app only measures track resistance, speed and distance traveled. It is a great option if you want to ride with no agenda. The next option is virtual rides. This is the option that I enjoyed the most. It lets you ride around a huge selection of places complete with sound and people walking around. You have to download each video and the bike tracks the metrics for each ride. This is great for beginners as the rides start from 20 minutes. While this mode was my favorite, I did have some issues with it. The first is the video moves at its own pace regardless of how hard you pedal. The second is the ride is just plain with no resistance or anything else coming into play to enhance your experience of riding outside. Even asking the user to increase resistance by X percent to experience the incline on the road would have sold this to me completely. The third option on the app is the guided classes. These come with instructors that tell you what to do and when to do it. It is a full class experience with music included. There is something for everyone here except for beginners. The shortest ride here is 20 minutes, but the ride is intense and there is no introductory video that can get you started as a beginner. There are new classes added to the app, so there's always something interesting to try out. The instructors across the board are very good at motivating you and pushing your limits. The Flex Nest Flex Bike is not cheap at around 30,000 rupees, but it is very effective as a workout tool. The bike is well built and the complementary applications do a lot of things well. However, as mentioned, the guided workouts can be a little intimidating for beginners and there are a few missed opportunities on the app where they could have pushed the immersive experience a little further but didn't. For the price, I think it's a pretty good investment and it is a device with a lot of potential. This is your Technophile signing off until next time.